Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Demon Slayer Mugen Resha Hindi anime episode number two. Okay, the previous episode we got a lot of new scenes which we never got to see in the movie. Uh, we saw what happened before Rengoku got like you know boarded the train and what he did, how he got informed of the whole situation, and the little incident that happened with the demon. Uh, and that uh, that little girl uh, that also like you know we saw and all the that stuff the background and everything uh, it got like you know like it, it, it was clearly like told the whole thing and now after that after he cleared all the things just defeated the demons and got in the train now I'm guessing we're going to see everything what happened in the movie and probably something more as well because I I think they said something about uh, them actually including more stuff in this anime so I'm kind of looking forward to what they are going to include here because the movie in itself was a pretty uh, balanced and solid uh, storytelling so what else can they include I'm kind of, look, kind of looking forward to that and I'm also one thing I'm also kind of curious about is are they going to like animate again or are they going to like use uh, clips from the movie and like I'm quite interested in that how they're going to do that so let's check this episode out uh, so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number two of Demon Slayer Mugen Reshahin so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three two one go Okay, we're in the train. Ah! Okay, this was in the movie, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, calm down. Wow. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, now we know where the bentos came from, you know, because we saw the previous episode. Oh my. Yes. <laughs> oh, is this opening? Whoa! Wait, who's singing this? Oh! Is this no this is not Lisa? Is this Lisa? No 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 this is not Lisa. It is Lisa! I was like who is singing this? <laughs> I wasn't able to recognize her first. Why the hell? Wow. Oh, boy. All right. Deep sleep. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> um. <clears throat> uh. 
<laughs> oh my god uh, look at this <laughs> they're taking the empty oh okay well <laughs> yeah Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, get ready for Oh. <laughs> I wonder how Inosuke will react if we take him in an airplane. You <laughs> know? Hmm. Oh, the about the flame, yeah. Fire breathing. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Suguko, okay. <laughs> Long history. Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay, did they explain this in the movie? I don't remember. Mist is a form of America. Mizoguchi? Oh. <laughs> I was like, who's Mizo? <laughs> eh? Hmm. Why not everything? <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh boy, you know scare. I actually do wonder what how he'll react if you take him in an airplane, you know? He'll probably jump out of it. <laughs> yeah. True. Get inside. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay. And here we go. The ticket keeper is here. 
a ticket checker yeah what's with the music <laughs> the okay there you go oh boy mm. <clears throat> yeah Yep. Okay. Oh, here it is. Mm. Oh boy. Whoa. Wow. Oh my god, the sound effects and the animation. Uh, okay, mm, nice. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oops, there you go. Oh. Run, oh my God. Run! Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> no! Uh... Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Oh. Slash. Ooh. Wow, that was cool. Oh. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Aniki. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, okay. Ah, uh, thinking about what's going to happen. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Well. <laughs> you know, skips like. Oh. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh. Great. Yep, all the dream. I, like, you know, the actual thing that's happening is I'm kind of remembering stuff as, as, as I see, like, you know, like, it's not been a long while I've re react, I've watched, um, the movie, but there are a few portions that I actually have forgotten, and I'm remembering as I'm seeing stuff, you know, like, as soon as I saw the dream, I remembered what happened in it, and just like this, yeah, it's going to go on like this. Oh boy. <laughs> his his dress changed. Okay. Like Like they hype this guy up so much and then in the movie we after we see it like we know who the actual problem was in the movie the the stronger you know enemy we know 
we all know who that is. Hmm. God. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, is this the ending? I wonder who sung the ending. Okay. Wow, okay. Whoa, the spider lilies. Wait a minute. It's, it's Lisa, isn't it? Wow, the opening and the ending, both are Lisa. Whoa. And I know like season two will be Imer, isn't it? At least the ending or the opening will be Imer. So my God. Okay, whoa, all right. Okay, this section. Suguko. <laughs> oh, okay, so I mean apprentice. <clears throat> Oh, here we go. <laughs> Is that Inosuke's leg? I never saw his leg before, now that I think about it. <laughs> Got a little glimpse. Um, okay. Uh, Alright, this episode. Um, uh, for people who have watched the movie, like we, we'll know what, uh, you know what's going to happen and everything. 
uh one thing i was quite interested in was that what are they going to do with the um animations are they going to like do everything from scratch or are they going to uh you know repeat the movie animations and i was able to kind of understand they are doing both in a way uh, as far as i could see and gather um, they're using most of the portions they're using the movie animations but they have included more stuff you know which i think was not in the movie and i think that's what uh, like you know like they said like there will be a lot of new scenes so it will be like you know like scattered around like this uh, which will be used to i'm guessing flesh the story and like you know even more than how the movie the, the movie was i think two hour how how much time was it two hours or two hours 30 minutes something like that so i'm guessing they're going to include everything in the movie obviously but at the same time they're also going to include more stuff where they can to just like you know flesh out more things and make it even more um like smoother and nicer and uh yeah like um, it is it, it, great like you know i really like this whole format like for people who like you know like like we have watched the movie but i'm guessing there will be a lot of people who have not watched the movie so they can like you know like either see the movie or the anime and like the anime like you know or see the anime and then see the movie and all that stuff so it's it's like you know it's uh it's good i like it and so and I, I, as i said like you know there are a few stuff that i kind of like you know forgotten about for a little bit uh, and as i'm like you know seeing all the scenes is reminding me of stuff for example uh like the dream sequence where we start the dream sequence uh when like i i knew that those little like you know the, the those children you know they they are actually working for um what was the demon's name i forgot anyways uh working for that demon and like obviously we saw the movie but i forgot the, the like you know the the details that it had so like you know when they were kind of uh like, you know, when they got became asleep and the children were tying the ropes in their hands and we get into the dream sequence i like you know i remembered that there was a dream sequence but i forgot what actually happened in it and then as we got into the dream sequence and as we see tanjiro going in the like you know snowy landscape and his uh, like you know little brother and sister calling him i remembered at that moment i was like oh so this is how what happened after this and everything got refreshed and now i remember what happened you know what what will happen after this so i'm guessing this will continue up until the seventh episode where obviously like i will remember stuff and there will be stuff that i've forgotten and as soon as i see the scene start i'll probably get reminded of it again and yeah this is probably going to happen and so yeah and it's kind of difficult in a way like i was actually thinking about uh like you know recognizing and try to like you know like actively try to recognize the parts they are adding in like you know which never which the movie never had i thought i'd try to keep an active um like you know like eye on them like which part they included or something new which is the new which are the new parts they included but it turns out it's quite a difficult job you know because as i said like, my memory is kind of hazy so stuff that they are including i probably won't even realize that they're including new stuff because uh yeah i only like remember the outcome of the like you know like the outline of the movie so yeah like it's 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 so naturally done that i probably won't realize unless and until the thing that they include is very unique or something that they like you know the movie never showed like I'll, for example the first episode which is like a completely new section if they include something like that obviously i'll be able to realize but otherwise i don't think i'll be able to <laughs> so yeah that was that okay um all right so the thing that i want like you know like obviously the opening and the ending one thing i was very surprised i knew like i did the opening and the ending would be sung by lisa but the thing that surprised me is that both the opening and the ending are sung by lisa and like when, when the song started i i was really unable to recognize her voice I, I was thinking for a second there. I was thinking that who is this singing the song? And then when the chorus came in, I realized, oh, this is Lisa. <laughs> so, wow, like I 
Like I've heard a lot of Lisa's song, and I I think I would be like I at least I thought that I'd be able to recognize her voice, like, you know, even if I don't know who is singing. So, but turns out that I was wrong. Like I really wasn't able to recognize her voice for a moment there. But as soon as the chorus came in, I realized it was Lisa. But yeah. So. Okay, that was the opening and the ending okay and then the scenes as we see like you know like everything that happened in the movie we're seeing them one by one and <coughs> excuse me and uh, so this episode showed us up until um where is it yeah up until the dream sequence of tanjiro and where she goes back to his uh, parent and uh, to his mom and siblings and yeah we saw it up until now at uh, that excuse me so and this is the second episode so five more episodes and i'm guessing this whole uh like you know the, the first demon the will kind of you know like scenes revolving around him will be shown up until the uh fifth or the fourth episode most probably the fifth episode will have and then from the sixth episode or something like that we'll, we'll get to the next sequence you know? and i don't know like in in season one like this is one thing that i want to talk wanted to talk about in season one uh in season one there was this Okay, like, uh, I don't know if people who are watching this have actually watched the movie or not. I'm going to say that this is like a spoiler. A spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Um, in season one, they hyped up this guy, uh, the, the demon, the lower demon, who we see so much. You know, there's this whole sequence of Muzan and him, if you guys remember, you know, how he was, a, he was the only one who was selected and stuff and he seemed like such a crazy person <laughs> and like you know i thought that my god this guy will be very difficult but then the movie came out and we see the whole scene of rengoku and him and i was like what the hell like this guy was hyped up so much and then we saw what happened in the movie and then the next guy was the one who was the actual threat the next demon that we meet uh, I'm i'm not telling their names because I'm not telling their names because I've actually forgotten all their names. I'm sorry about it. But you know, the next demon that comes was the actual threat. And yeah, like that's one thing I, I like, you know, thought about. Like this guy, like the whole dream sequence thing. It's, it's a very, what can I say, dangerous technique. And he made a lot of plans. He made a lot of preparations. In that way, you can call him yeah he he was quite strong in that way but still like you know like in front of rengoku he he was nothing basically so yeah that was one thing that after i watched the movie i felt like but <laughs> you know like that that shows how strong rengoku actually is and you know how like, you know like what type of a character like he's a hashira so yeah like, you know okay now nothing else to talk about because as i said like you know the movie we've, we've basically seen everything and i kind of discussed everything in the movie and but yeah let me see if i can find something to actually talk about here oh okay mm. <coughs> excuse me okay so well, it's kind of uh, what can i say like obviously when i started the movie i did not know what's going to happen you know, to rengoku and everything how this will end so these these things when i saw it in the movie you know, it was such a like you know great like you know happy moment where we see Tanjiro and Rengoku. You know, like when Tanjiro starts calling Rengoku Aniki, and he's like, <laughs> and they're like so happy and everything, and like you know they're like basically like brothers. 
and like this scene sequence was so happy and such like you know so heartwarming and now that i see this i feel depressed basically like like because i know what's going to happen after this and uh, it's such a weird <laughs> weird feeling because the scene itself is so happy and everything like it's like you know you cannot just like you know you, you feel happy when you see this scene and you just cannot keep yourself from smiling after watching these scenes but then you realize that oh my god like how this will end and that's why it's like as i said it's it's like a weird feeling and i don't know how to actually feel about these sequences you really like it you really love the whole happy you know thing and how you see tanjiro actually <coughs> you know relying on rengoku because tanjiro like as we've seen all these tanjiro has been the big brother you know tanjiro has always been the big brother like in every sense like for nezuko for his brothers and sisters and after that you know like when zensu and inosuke comes in he's also kind of like their <laughs> you know, their guardian in a way you know whenever they do something wrong tanjiro stops them and everything like all the responsibilities and everything are kind of on tanjiro and as i said he's like the big brother of almost all the characters that he knows tanjiro inosuke and you know like nezuko and all that thing so him actually relying on someone is is such a great you know like what can i say like it's such it's nice to see it you know him actually relying on rengoku and everything and seeing that rengoku is kind of like the big brother figure for him you know uh, tanjiro who has always been the big brother figure for everyone else now he has someone to rely on and the only person who was i'm guessing the you know like the person who tanjiro could rely on was his mom and dad you know when they were alive but after like you know everyone died he like you know, he he had to take in the reins he had to become the person who everyone relied on so seeing him actually relying on rengoku and seeing this whole relationship you know uh, what can i say like forming it's such a nice scene but then you realize that yeah everything's an illusion like by the end of it oh, like we know what's going to happen and it was just a moment of time that tanjiro was able to uh you know like rely on someone and i don't know what to say the whole thing was sad but yeah nothing we can do about it so So that's it guys so all right so that's it so thank you guys for watching um this was uh my reaction to demon slayer <coughs> excuse me mugen rashahan the anime so <coughs> if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out what's your opinion about this anime you know how they're doing it and everything so yeah and so yeah that's it guys so thank you guys for watching and the discussions of these like you know this series will probably be a little bit less because as i said like you know i've seen everything and i know what's going to happen so there's nothing much to discuss about but i'll try to find like you know stuff to actually discuss about so yeah i usually take like how much like almost 30 minutes like you know discussing so that will probably not be that long but yeah i'll try so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next uh next week with another episode of demon slayer mugen so until then goodbye and have a nice day